Hey Feasters, welcome to episode 255, and I've left the best, the best for last. The finding clients lesson number 11 is group coaching for your leads. It's the most time efficient way of getting clients. Welcome to the Ask Res podcast. I'm Jason, and I'm here to help you get past those bumps in the road, those struggles, those things that hold you back from building an amazing and profitable freelance business each and every single day. And you know I'm all about the profitability, as you should be too. And so today's lesson could potentially be the most profitable way to find clients that you want to work with on a consistent basis. This is the final lesson. This is the 11th and final lesson in the Finding Client series, which is a no-nonsense series of lessons that work in today's market to find clients for you that you want to be working with on a consistent basis. Before I dive into today's lesson, head on over to iTunes. If you found any of these series lessons helpful, or if you've found Ask Res episode 63 was helpful, I'd love to hear about it. Leave me a rating and review in there so that I can be sure to go ahead and mention you on the show, but also know that you're getting value from what I'm talking about. It also helps others identify with you in solving a problem that you got from, well, you got from listening to the podcast here. So today's lesson is group coaching for leads. You have no doubt heard about group coaching before in the context for your own business. I met Lauren Powell, founder of Bixen Media, a marketing firm, a couple of years ago. In fact, she was the first guest on Live in the Feast, season one, episode three. I'll link that up in the show notes where she talks about this process in depth. So if you want to really dive deep on this topic, that's the episode to listen to. She inspired this idea of bringing your leads together in one space so that you can then vet the good fit on mass. Let me explain how this works. You get a lead as you normally would, but instead of going on to a one-on-one -on -one call with them, you get them together in an educational webinar. Get them to sign up and as a group, you run through some educational material for them, provide ridiculous value in a way that allows all of the leads to walk away with something that's beneficial to them. They also know and understand the type of work that you do, who you help, and if you may be an actual good fit for them, because this is your sales process. You outline what it takes to work with you, budget, scope of work, time, all of these things. Then towards the end of the webinar, you present them with an application for them to go ahead and fill out in order to work with you. Now, Lauren shared some of her KPIs that she aims for with registrations, attendance, and applications. The part that I like most about this is that you are spending one hour of time with, let's say, three, five, maybe 10 people and weed out those that aren't a good fit rather than one hour with each individual lead to weed them out. It's an effective use of time. As a result, you are now only spending time on those that raise their hand to want to work with you. They know what it's going to take to, in order for budget and time and these kind of things to work with you. Those that don't still walk away with value from you. They may come back later, right? And that's what it's all about is using our time effectively to be able to then work with the clients that we want to work with on a consistent basis. Now, Lauren said in that episode that those that fill out the application, she'll close about 80% of them. In fact, she sent me an email just last week that as of January 2nd, 2019, she's booked solid for the entire year. Now it's February at the end of this recording. Um, so imagine if you had all of your projects booked up for an entire year, 
only a couple of days into that year. Since I heard about this idea, I've looked for ways in which I can leverage this in my own business. I've tried little local meetups where I've brought together some folks and essentially did this. I've done some uh, Skype calls and Zoom calls as well. Because as I said, it's such an effective use of time and it provides the same amount of value as if you would just continue the sales process as you do today, because it's the same conversation. You no doubt the past five leads that you've had, you've answered the same questions, you've approached the calls in the same way, and you've told them how you work. So instead of that being five hours, it's now just one to five people. A good place to start with this is past clients, right? To get practice at this tech, right? Because if you're going to use tech to do this, you need to really reduce the number of variables in the success here. So with past clients, you already know who they are. You also know that you would want to work with them again because you worked with them in the past and you know you're a good fit. Remember in lesson seven where we talked about those up-level skills? Well, take those skills that you've learned since working with your past clients and package up something to sell to them. Send them an email with, with a registration link and get them on that group coaching call. Practice your delivery and then pitch with that application. It's as simple as that. You're reducing the friction because you know that it's something that would benefit them. You know that they're a good fit and you can, own, you can concentrate on that group aspect and get comfortable with that before you do it to cold leads. If you have a question, ask Rez. That's me. Find me on Twitter or head on over to askres.com and click that apply now button. There we could fill out, fill out the application. And if it works out, you come on the show and get free coaching from me, but you'll also get the support and the community behind ask res and help you get over the hurdles that you're encountering till next time. It's your time to live in the feast.